Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Anderson Plays, Virtue's Last Reward. Of course, I'm Mr. Anderson, and we're about to see, or we're on the route to the Phi ending, the final ending of the Virtue's Last Reward game. Very exciting. This game's been going on for a very long time, and I'm becoming quite exasperated by the length of it. But mm, the game is good. And I'm just excited to be seeing the end soon, to see what this is all leading to. Who knows? But, on with the show. This is the Phi, uh, the phi ending. Hopefully we got everything correct. Uh, I hope so. Um, and yeah, here we go. We have to go through the... Uh, what door do we have to go through? Uh, we have to go through the red door. And the door's open. The Luna ending was quite long, but it was good though. Kind of sad, because Luna was probably the only good person in this entire series, because she wasn't a complete douchebag. You gotta figure out who's going through which doors. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen this already. What are the options? We're going through the red door anyway. Luna and I. Oh, I always, I always thought it was Fi saying all this. But it's us. It's it's me and Sigma. How do we want to do this? Well, you decided the first time, right? Yeah. Then I can I decide this time? Why, you? I think I deserve it. Oh, okay, yeah, we've seen this one. Alright, so option B. That's actually the kind of one we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clover uh, betrayed him last time. Because she's a douche. She uses one, and she is a douche. Come on. Oh, Luna. Now that we know what Luna actually is, it's a little different. I thought about it for a moment. I went with option B, then Luna and I would go through the red door with Phi. And that's what we want. We want the red door. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have any problems with it. There are no objections. Then we're all set. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine. Eight. Yeah, I get it. We nodded quickly to one another and split up. Oh, so it's Luna find me. Let's go, ladies. My feet slapped against the hard metal f metal of the warehouse floor, and Luna Fi and I ran to the red chromatic door and the next stage of the non-nary game. The final stage of the non-nary game, that is. There's only one escape room in this route. So hopefully, we'll get a good ending. This room can only be um, visited through the Phi route. Yeah, we know what this is. Is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be blocked. Locked. Yeah, it looks like it. Unless we pull this handle. I wonder what this thing is. It looks like the ne the thing next to the number nine door. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. Why should I? It might be dangerous. Maybe it'll trigger an explosion. Well, then you're all dead then. Or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. Who knows? Right, then I have no choice. Did you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? There's nothing on either side, is there? What's that supposed to mean? <clears throat> Sorry for the confusion. I was talking about your breasts. Damn, he just called her a flat-chested bitch. It's called dressing modestly. I have you know I'm a C cup. Is she a C cup? I guess. If you're a C cup, I'm packing 12 inches. 
Hey, I am packing 12 inches. <laughs> we continued in that vein for, uh, for some time until... Yeah, she's like a B. I wouldn't say she's a C. She's a B. Huh? What? Hee hee hee. It sounded like you two may, might take a while, so I pulled the lever. Is that okay? <laughs> Thanks. Only the one on the left opened. The others are still shut tight. See, she is the perfect dead dead mother. She is. Well, we should get going anyway. Yeah, even if she is a robot, I'd still hit it. She's probably got, you know, the correct stuff. Huh. What is this place? It looks like some kind of control room. I can see a huge machine of some sort on the other side of the window. Maybe a generator? Right, well, let's split up and look around. We need cards with the moon on them for the next AB game, right? Yeah, they're probably in this room somewhere. Let's get started. Alright, let's do this. We're in the control room this time. Alright, let's look around here. This looks like it's a control panel. It's covered with screens and buttons and so on. Alright. Alright, so that's just going to say it's covered and controlled. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to, uh... Test. There's a piece of paper on that clipboard. It says test. Each letter is written in different color. The T is green, the E is blue. S is yellow, and the second T is pink. They all look like they've been written with a highlighter. Someone's got some really nice handwriting. A laptop. It's got something on the screen. It's the letter T. Huh. Did you see that thing plugged into the side of the laptop? Yeah, it looks like a memory stick. I got the memory stick. USB scanner. I don't think this is... I don't think this is a memory card, huh? Unless I guess, it's actually a portable scanner. See, there's a little slit on the end. Just wave the part over an image or text you want to scan. Then you can just plug it back in the laptop and look at whatever you scanned. Neat. Um. Yellow? Huh? The sc screen changed. Do you think it's because you pulled that thing out? Hmm. Hey, the screen's blue now. This is... Wow, that was quick. Huh? Looks like a password. You think it's for the panel and the safe? I assume so. Wow, that was... That was easy. That was easy. Anything else? Oh, hey, you think you can move these? Oh, you're right. Hmm. It says off, on the top, and on on the bottom. Hmm. Looks different. Ah, nothing happened. Nothing happening. A cardboard box filled with complicated machinery. Do we think we can use it? I don't even know what it is. Some cardboard boxes. There's some machinery inside that I don't know what it about is. Hmm, that's the safe already. It looks like there's a few different books here. I got. S we've got some sort of dense technical thing in a novel. Hmm. Doesn't look like there are any clues here though. Oh, we already got the one. Hint. A red clock. It says 11 400 second on the face. Not sure why. Not sure why either. Oh. Numbers clipboard. Alright, this piece of paper has four row of digits, numbers. The color for each different each digit seems to be random. Green, blue, yellow, pink. They all look like highlighter colors. Mm. Highlighters, you say. Can we combine this? with this green they are all wrapped in PP bands <laughs> PP bands rope made of polyurethane 
uh, polyproline. Propylene. Hmm. Some cardboard boxes. Wait a minute. Come on. I want to get this thing in here. There's a secret thing in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's happening. Okay. <laughs> compass. A compass. One leg has a needle. The other ha leg has a pencil. I don't think you're supposed to... Do you think you're supposed to use this for something? Well, usually you s use compasses to draw circles. Where should we draw a circle, though? On a piece of paper, I would assume. How big a circle? Mm, I don't know. If we had an angle to set the compass to, that might help. We do. Wow, a protractor. I haven't seen one of these in a while. If you remember they're, what they're for, you use them to figure out angles. There's a red line at 30 degrees away from 90 degree mark. What do, what's it mean? Maybe it's telling you to set something to an angle 30 degrees? We shall. Compass that I set to 60 degrees using the protractor. All right. I guess now I just need to figure out where I'm supposed to draw a circle. Maybe there's something with a mark that shows us where the center should be. Can we combine this with this? You can't combine these items. No, okay. All right, nothing there. Nothing doing. Books? Hmm, these look promising. Let's see here. Damn, I can't understand any of this. Is it some kind of code? None of these have anything useful. So much for that. <sighs> There's supposed to be a thing that's said there, so... 510 minutes, blue clock. It says 510 minutes on the face. That's a long time. Oh no. Ah. Uh, <coughs> there's a small hole in in it that looks like it was made for a needle. Do you think it? this is where it goes? Where what goes? Oh, Sigma. You have a good memory, but not that good of a memory. This sheet has on off written on a bunch of times. There's a tiny hole in the middle. So, I just put the compass in here. So, does that mean we do... Off, off... Interesting. So, you use the compass to make a circle. And now the circle touches specific words. Maybe those are a clue? So we do we start right here? Um, let's let's see. Let's write this down real quick. Sorry, off, on, off, on, off, off. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it looks like a puzzle too. This looks like a lot of fun. This room. Can't wait. Gotta go the long way around. This kind of makes me dizzy a little bit. All right, so let's try off, on, off, on, off, off. What do we do? On, off, on, off. There you go, yeah, that's right. Sigma, what are you doing? Don't break it. Oh, no, it wasn't me. Hmm. It just fell off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, it's off now, so no point crying over spilt levers. <laughs> Maybe you could use it somewhere else. Like where? Oh, it looks like it's got like a little wrench end. There's a lever here. Vi seems to think it might be useful later for later. Let's try putting in this... um. We already got that. Look at the screen. The clipboard is still there. Yeah, I can see that. I guess it's a real-time image then. 
I thought maybe it was showing pictures from that camera on top of the screen. Are you kidding me? We're not on screen. Of course it's not a feed from the camera. Oh. You have a point. You two are hopeless. Oh, it is a camera, huh? Let's try putting in this. Three, two, seven, one. Huh? It changed. Three, two, seven, one. Okay. I still don't have any clue what that does, so... Let's move on. <coughs> Sorry, I had a cough. Oh, what's this button do? What is this thing? It's huge. That's what she said. I would guess it's used to analyze things. It looks like it's missing a part, though. I think this machine is supposed to analyze stuff, but it's missing a part. I don't think we have that part. What's this? That's a tall screen. I don't think it's turned on. Maybe maybe it can't get power. Uh, it can't get power for some reason. Okay. Is that supposed to be something? Okay. Well, looks like we're not doing anything here. I have a feeling it has something to do with this. What's this? It's got all these pipes. Look at the black and yellow lever. Is this power underneath? Under it? Do you think something? Do you think this tubing has electrical cables in it for, or something? Maybe flipping these levels will let us change the amount of electrical current. What would that ch accomplish? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing the power level is the source. Mm, might as well give it a... Wait, don't get ahead of yourself. Look at the 320. The lever's missing. Without a replacement lever, I don't think we'll be able to... A lever, hmm. <clears throat> we have something like that. Okay, if I just put this here... Good, there we go. Now what do we do with this? What should I do with this thing? I found a manual on the floor over here, over there. It says this machine doesn't really use electricity in a conventional way. Huh? <clears throat> Those tubes use some kind of special liquid to transmit electricity. <clears throat> Actually, it's pretty complicated. The simple version is that you can adjust the voltage by adjusting the flow of liquid. So let's say you turn that rightmost lever all the way to the left. If you do that, then all the liquid coming from 240 will go to the, the tube on the left. Then turn it all the way to the right and goes to the right tube. What if you put it in the middle? Then it gets halved. Each pipe will end up with 120 instead of one getting 240. What's the deal with the question marks? Those represent unknowns in the target valves. The one with <clears throat> the question marks means it's supposed to be a three digit number, while the ones with only two mean they're two digit numbers. And of course, the single question mark means the value is only a single digit. What about the ones that start with three? Well, I guess that means the hundred digit has to be three. So four means the tenths, the tens has to be four. And five means the ones on the digit has to be a five. But yeah, I think so. So let me see if I got this. We need to adjust the lever so that the liquid gives us the right numbers on the bottom. That's correct. Once you've got all the levers set, <clears throat> you press the power. Then I think you pull down the power lever like this. Oh, makes sense. I think that about covers it. Oh, wait, one more thing. The liquid will only flow from top to bottom. The manual gets very specific about that. <clears throat> Let's do this thing. All right. So this has to be 300. So right now this is all halved. So this is 240. <clears throat> Half of 210 is 105. And then uh, half, oh my god, half of 105 is 52? Oh no. Oh, we, mm, this hurts my brain. So this is 105 
105 gets split up again. So 105, that goes down, and then 105. So I think that's about right, right? So 105 goes to here, so 105. So, all right, let's assume that's right. Um, so 320, this is all getting halved. So 320, so half of 320 would be one, one, 160, 160. Uh, oh, I'm guessing this is supposed to light up when it's correct. All right, just to save us in the matter of time, um, you know, uh, I'm using my um, my uh, stand ability to look this up because I get the whole gist of it. It's just I'm not that smart, guys. I hope you understand that. I ain't that smart. All right. Actually, I have these correct right here. So I did that correctly because I are smart. So we go like this. That stays down. That stays down. That stays down. <laughs> I had it actually correct. Yes, I'm a champion. Look. Something turned on. It The power turned on. All right. A tall screen. It seems to be powered on, but nothing happens when I touch it. You just have to touch it a little bit more vigorously. It's got power, but I think it's missing a part without that. Hmm. So... What's this? The locker looks like the ones with on the crew quarters. Even the panel looks similar. Let's see here. Could it be uh, recycled recycled puzzles? Okay. I see what's going on here. Hour minute, hour minute. Okay. So I think I know what's going on. Um, these correspond to uh, those blue and red clocks that we saw earlier. Um, so we have to get the code from the blue first and then red. Um, so what, the, the blue clock said 510 minutes. Oh my God. I, have to, I don't want to do that math. Um, so it's 60 minutes. Let me get the calculator out here. All right. So 510 minutes divided by 60. So it's 8 hours, 30 minutes. And then the other one was um, 1140 seconds. 11,400 uh, 11, seconds. So we'll times that. We'll divide that by 60, correct? Yeah. So we get 3 hours and 10 minutes. So we have to do um, 8, 30, 3, and 10. Yes. So we need to get 8. So 2 plus 6. Um, uh, 17 plus 13. And then Oh no 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 no. I okay, I'm doing it wrong, that's all. I forgot that oh dude, stupid me. Um two plus six, that's eight. Seventeen plus thirteen. 
and then two plus one, and then four plus six. Yeah, yeah. You did it. It's unlocked. See if you can open it. And that one's easy. I think I understand that one. What the fuck? It's Coral Reef. Wow, those are some intense colors. What is this thing? I think it's a root system from a tree. What? Come on. No tree has rainbow roots unless it's gay. <laughs> it's part of the LGBTQ community. There's a bunch of other acronyms after that, but whatever. I don't think it looks like that naturally. They probably painted it. It's pretty ugly, I guess. So what am I supposed to do with it? I'm sure it'd make a delightful souvenir, but I think I'd think I'd make it past customs. Maybe you're supposed to put it somewhere? I think I know where we're supposed to put it. Well, on that machine, perhaps. This locker looks like the one in the crew quarters. Even the puzzle looks similar. Let's figure out how this works for first. All right. So, um... These are green, so I'm going to guess... I put the right numbers and press enter. Um, so this has something to do with the green numbers here. So three, two, seven, one. So let's write that down. Three, two, seven, one. A three, two, seven, one. Or it goes three, two, seven, one. But it's all like plus and division. Um, huh, let's look at this again. Three, two, seven, one. Okay, so it goes right. Hmm. So it goes in this it goes in this direction. Three, two, seven, one. Let's try this. Three, two, seven, one. Okay, no. So I'm gonna guess this goes. We need to figure out a way to... Maybe it's maybe it's not three two seven one, but something different. So five plus two is seven. Um, there's a two in there. So if we go that plus two. And then two by two. Two divided by two is one. And then we need the three, which is two plus one. Ice smart. Excellent, unlocked. Good work. Now open it up. This sort of looks like the cufflinks from um, uh, Death Stranding. Disc-shaped part. What is this thing? It's pretty big. Maybe you're supposed to wear it like a crown. Well, why the hell would you do that? Well, could it be a part of the machine? If it is, you probably need to attach it to something. Um, this looks like it might attach to that. You cannot combine these items. Oh. 
Well, at least we closed everything up. It looks like it goes here. Huh? Looks like it would fit. Here we go. Ha ha. Back. I knew it. I think I could put that rainbow colored root here. It works. Nothing's happening. Hold on. It's scanning it. It's moving. It looks like it's finally ready. But ready for what? My body is ready, Faye and Luna. Uh, Faye and Luna. Well, ready, uh, ready for you to use this, I guess. This screen? Yeah, I think. The root. Look at that thing. Isn't it beautiful? Are you kidding? It's gross. I think I've got it. The machine is a CT scanner. You mean like from a hospital? Yeah. One of those things that can take pictures of cross sections of your brains and organs and stuff? Yeah. It can Im image things other than the human body too. Like this root for, exi for instance. That's, that's oddly uh, sexual. <laughs> hmm. So what we're seeing on, on the left is a slice of that root. I think so. What are we supposed to do then? I think trial and error is going to be the best way to figure this one out. Just start messing with it and we'll see what happens. Alright. Dragging up and down where the image of the root is displayed will allow you to scroll between layers. The bottom layer has eight circles of different colors. Four of those circles are blank. Assign the appropriate number to each circle. The numbers you can use are displayed the cross section. You can move the numbers where they need to go by dragging them. Here goes nothing. Three fifteenth, six twenty. So yellow would be. So I'm guessing that means um, sixteen divided by four. Um, so four times. Four, so four times two is eight, twelve. Uh, so yellow would be. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Four times three, so four times four is sixteen, right? Six twenty. What the fuck? Okay. So I mean, I think I get it. Um. So red's supposed to be three and fifteenth. Uh. This hurts my brain. All right, so this is requiring math for, so, um, 100. So, it, everything is in, is parts of 100 and all the colors, okay? So, 4 sixteenths of 100 is 25, so 6 plus 19 is 25. Um, all right, let's look at red. 3 fifteenths. Um, 3 fifteenths of 100 is 20. Yes, 20. So it's down here. 8 plus 12 is 20. All right. Um, 
six twentieths of one hundred is thirty. My brain is exploding. Um, nine plus. Nine. Nine plus twenty-one is thirty. Um, now, um, oh, so these all have to equal um, one hundred all together. So this would be um, twenty-five. Okay, so twenty. That's forty-five. Forty-five um, plus forty-five. So that's seventy-five. So we need twenty-five more. So. Um, we need 10. <laughs> Trebek. Trebek. Sorry, calculators, all that good stuff. Looks like I got it. You sure did. That's amazing. I'm pretty, ba I'm pretty, you know, awesome. I'm babelicious. <laughs> well, would you look at that? The color changed. I wonder. Have a look, Sigma. This is, oh, I knew it. You've seen a password like this before, haven't you, Luna? Yes, in the AB room in the infirmary. It'll open the safe, right? Yeah, you found a safe password. To view it, navigate to the Pass tab. Okay, cool. Um, I think that about does it for this room, except for I really, really, really want. I really want what's set in here. Doesn't look like they're gonna say it. Maybe they took it out. Well, if you click on that enough times, just like the cucumber between her breasts, um, Alice's breasts in the garden, um, if you click on it enough, it should it should have a thing that says, I wonder if we could sneak by the guards with it. Which is, of course, uh, referencing the Metal Gear Solid series. A safe. It looks like the ones I saw in the AP room. So we put in the password and it should open. All right, so. We are going to go to uh, the archives. Password. So we need uh, sun, sun, moon. Sun. Sun, moon. Oh. I got that right, right? Sun, sun, moon. Okay. Duh. Doing the other way. A golden file? Piece of cake. You have found a gold file. To view it, visit the secret tab in the archive. And then I think it goes... Sun? Sun? Moon? No, okay. I don't got that good of a memory, Sigma. Oh, it was star. Bye, you, baby. Yes, it opened. What's this, a Game Boy? Okay, let's get our prizes. First we've got... Why would you take the paper? That's like opening the box that looks like socks, obviously, under the Christmas tree, Christmas morning, first. You always want to go for the one that looks like a video game, okay? The map. It says Floor B. The one we found in the crew quarter says Floor A. So did the one in the infirmary. See, back in my day, it was a lot easier to guess which was a game because cartridges came in the big like cardboard boxes and you knew what those were. You just knew it from sight. It couldn't have been like a DVD or a VHS tape. You knew it was a cartridge. We came down here using an elevator, right? So that would make it A, the top floor. Seems weird. Don't the numbers usually count from the bottom floor up? Well, look at it this way. A for above, B for below. Was why does that seem ominous? Whatever. Moving on. Our next prize is, let's see. We're grabbing all the boring stuff first. Key cards. They have a moon on them. That means our moon cards. The announces we're talking about. Now we can play the next AP game. They gave us two, just like the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll take one. That's fine with you guys, right? Sure, go for it. We've got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one... That's a... Blackberry? Is it some kind of input device? It has a keypad keypad on it and a cable connected to the top. <gasps> this is what deactivates the bomb. We can worry about that later. 
Might as well take take it with us for now, though. And finally, it's the bomb input code. The key. We can get out now. Then, this should unlock the exit. Huzzah. No more screwing around. Let's move. Nice. Nice. Come on. No! I guess they took it out, maybe, in the, um... In the computer version, because they were afraid of something. I don't know. Maybe they're afraid of like Konami coming down on them, because you know Konami's just a bunch of dick wangs that destroy everything they touch. And without Hideo Kojima, they're nothing. Sounds about right. Let's stick it in. Oh, you didn't notice? Notice what? The thing on the other side of the glass that looks kind of like a metal octopus. So it looks like it. Yeah, I think that may be, I think that maybe that's an annihilation reactor. What the fuck? Annihilation reactor? Annihilation? You mean like that bomb? Yes, core of the annihilation bomb would work on some the same pr pr principles. I think Vi knows a lot more about uh, than than me about these things, though. How would she know? Well, I wouldn't say that. I was I've just picked up a few tidbits of information here and there. Tidbits, huh? If it is what Luna thinks, it should be pretty simple. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there. Probably hydrogen and antihydrogen bumping into one another. Oh. Um, okay. Th when they when they do, they annihilate one another. That's where you get the name and releases a bunch of energy. You can actually calculate how much energy by taking the mass defect and... Gah, stop. Too complicated. You're saying that octopus thing is a machine that runs off annihilation energy, right? Well, machine is a pretty it was a weird way to put it. It's more like an engine, like a steam engine or an internal combustion engine. Just better. It's a machine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Luna said I was in the last engine. Ending. All the electricity in this facility is generated by Mr. Octopus. That's Mr. Anderson to you. So that would make this room. Yes. This is Mr. Octopus's control room. This is going to turn into some kind of weird hentai thing where this, like, unlatches from the wall and starts, like, you know, impaling all the women. I guess it doesn't really matter what the octopus is at this place. At this point, we're all done with this room. All we got to do is insert the key. Put it in, dude. Okay, let's go. Yes, I agree. So, I wonder if, like, every time he, like, has sex with a woman, he says, I'm going to put it in, okay? Okay? He's, like, one of those people that are really too concerned about consent. When you already know what's going to happen, you just have to do it. You found it. Ha <laughs> ha, we're out. I had to use my stand abilities a little bit for that. It's simply because, I'm honestly, I'm getting a little tired um, of the game and its puzzles. I just want to see the ending. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Yep, everyone's surprised. The gate's open. What's going on? I feel like I'm in Groundhog's fucking day. Maybe some someone from other another team opened one of them. They must have been. They must have found a new card. Well, why the hell would they just go and open one of the doors on their own? We should get back upstairs. Whoever jumped the gun is probably in the warehouse, right? Okay, let's go. Almost there, though. Probably like one or two more videos. Probably two for this ending, because the Luna ending was fucking long as hell. I, just, I didn't want to end it in the middle of it. That would suck. I'd just rather have it all in one bit, all in one ending, one, all of the ending in one video. You guys know we're going to warehouse a did you i mean because it's not like they said it a bunch of times that, that we're gonna go to warehouse a or it's not like we've been here a thousand times at warehouse a i mean i'm just so happy that they're telling us that we are in warehouse a we left out of the magenta door and in the warehouse that was sarcasm i know some people have a hard time understanding sarcasm but that was sarcasm there stood temiuchi if you don't know what sarcasm is there's a thing called the internet or google google it 
Hey, what the hell is this? That was being facetious. If you don't know what that is, Google or dictionary. Why'd you open one of the AV rooms before the rest of the of Skavak? Clover and I haven't done anything. It was Dio. Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. Dio puts the D in dick. You've got a problem? Because that's what he eats. Yes, yes, I have. I have a. I do have a problem. Why? Well, I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone's got back to open the AV rooms. Are you kidding me? Uh, we didn't talk about it because we thought it was a common sense. All right, we've seen this already. Yeah, we've seen this. But best interest of not missing anything. Yes, it's Quark, you see. Yeah, yeah, he's under. He collapsed. Everyone's gonna start killing themselves. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this. He's infected with Radical Six. He's gonna get up and try to kill himself. Uh, Luna's a doctor. Well, she's not really a doctor. She's a robot, but, you know. She doesn't really have a medical license, but she's just, you know. You know, a robot, so she knows this stuff. She can just source the information from the core computer. Yep, yep, yep. He's infected with Radical Six. She sort of looks like Princess Leia with the buns. I don't think she even needed to really scan him. I think she probably just could have known that he was infected with Radical Six. I, I told Alice and Temuji about it. Fine, I learned heard about it from Luna, yeah. Everyone heard it seems like one way or another everyone heard about Radical Six. Yeah. Something about the tone of his voice changed. Why wasn't it possible? I tell me did you know about Rad uh, Radical Six? Yes, yes, yes. But there's something we there must be something we can do. How can we cure him? Well, we need Exlavar. Um, only way to cure Radical Six. If we can inject it with him, he should be okay. Where is it? Shouldn't be shouldn't it be in the infirmary somewhere? Well, we looked around, we didn't see anything. It's in the lab, I think. I don't trust the damn thing you say. I'm asking Luna. Sorry, but Dio's telling the truth. We didn't find anything. What about the other rooms? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? The control room, all that we have is a bunch of stuff for controlling the generator. I don't think anybody would put the medicine there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the archives. Books and so on in the abundance, but no medicine. Oh god, then he's going too. Oh god, no. Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? Some place called the Bee Garden. It was kind of like a park with trees and stuff. Yeah, no medicine. Maybe some medicinal plants? Tim and Yuji slumped to the ground. For a moment there was silence, and then Quark got up and tried to kill himself. You're awake. Yep, this little bitch. I have to escape. Yeah, we've seen all this. And then I grab his arm to stop him. And then uh, Alice probably grabs the knife. And then she goes off and tries to kill herself. Guys, I could use a hand here. Yep. Tommy is just sitting there like a prick. Oh, right. Damn you, bastards! Yep, 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 yep. It's sort of like the, um, a lot of TV shows out there, just like The Walking Dead. Just let it die, guys. Let it die. Kill me, kill me. That's what they, the show's saying. Any TV show that goes on for that long, like Lost, I completely lost interest in it. It's funny that it was called Lost and I just lost interest. After, like, the fifth season. 
Stop milking things for money, guys. Just let it die. Same thing with Mass Effect. Just let it die. Three was all you needed. Yep. Yeah, and jacked them with the um, Soparil or whatever. Anesthetic, it'll knock them out. Just loading that shit up. No, stop! Come on. Let's get the new stuff. I wonder what happened if we scanned her with the scanner. If it would show, like, her robot stuff. Wake up in a few hours. Yep. Yep. Oh, well. How much do you know about this Radical Six? Oh, not much. I probably know about as much as you do. All I've seen about, seen about it is in the newspaper article. That the truth? Why would I lie about it? I guess I've seen other viruses do the same thing. I'll just make it a guess. So when Quark tried to kill himself, are you saying that it was because of Radical 6 too? Yes, at least I think so. Yep. Radical 6 virus. Everyone's standing there going, uh, what are you doing? I turn and follow Temuji's gaze. Yep. She's going to try to kill herself. Then she's going to start saying, like, oh, everyone's going to die, everyone's going to die. <sighs> yep. Biological warfare, terrorist, terrorist, robot, Skynet. All humanity is going to die. Yeah, adults, children, everyone. Everyone. There won't be any left. Mm -hmm. Look in the crew quarters, guys, or the bee garden. Yep. Where did she go? Right. Left. I was still trying to decide when everyone else poured out of the infirmary. We lost her? Yeah. I don't know which way she went. Let's split up and look. Quickly, she can't have gotten far. Let's split up so Dio can start killing everyone. If you find her, it's probably best not to shout or anything. Just do your best not to provoke her. Understood? Gotcha. Tell me, Uji, I think you should stay here with Quark. The rest of us can look for Alice. Sound good? Yeah. I should stay here. Got it. Alright, let's get out of here. We've seen all this before. I just want to make sure we're not going to miss anything. Perhaps the lounge would be a good bet. Nah, it wouldn't be. She's in the crew quarters, I think. I think. Stop lounging around. <sighs> you know, for a guy that can, like, send his consciousness into the future... He doesn't do a very good job. No point in complaining. Just need to look somewhere else. I turn and head towards the exit. Come on. Maybe this is supposed to be, like, immersive or something, I don't know. Like, make you feel like you're actually moving through the... through the rooms. Doesn't work, though. What's this room again? Archives. Archives. We're in the archives. This is gonna piss some people off. Archives. Archives. Catch. Cache. So this is the archives, huh? Kark and Alice uh, searched this room. Oh, it's a lion. Eating the sun. Damn. Nothing here either. We need to find her quick, or she's gonna do something bad. 
If she loses it like Quark did, and nobody's around to stop her, she's gonna kill herself. She's gonna stab herself in her movies. Shit, I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden where Clover, Temuji, and Dio had gone passing through their door. Yeah, it's the garden, I think, right? Yeah. Bee garden. The bitch garden. The boob garden. The bubby garden. The first thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere, and the air was filled with the fresh scents of grow if it growing, underlaid with the sweet, dry tones of dead leaves under feet. While the air outside had been dry and harsh, in here it was warm and wet, like a forest at their spring rain. Or something else that I'm not going to talk about. Just like Clover said, plants and stuff everywhere. Plants and stuff everywhere. We're not going to clean it because Papa don't care. I walked slowly down the path, still slightly stunned. Most of the facility had been cold, dull metal, but this room was positively burdened. It's sort of like the, the facility is Phi and this is Alice. Hard to believe there's something like this here. What the hell is this even for? As, as strange as the garden was, Alice needed to be my priority. I ran my thoughts back in and continued down off the path into the grass. It's not like it's like that big of a room. I've only gone a few steps until I, when I stopped short. Oh. Uh -huh. Alice. Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. I got here just a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to take her to the infirmary. Then she's uh, alive? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She, does, she doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds, so she's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. I figured she probably dropped it on the way here. Why would she drop the scalpel? Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Right, unless she's hiding it somewhere. Let's do a cavity search. Wait, hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Just stay calm. What? Look to the right. My right or your right? You're right. That's the number one bomb. What the hell? This this is a bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Yeah, because the numbers, you idiot. Look at the number on the side. This is zero one. The one in the crew quarters said 03. <laughs> Shit. There's no question, huh? Now we know where all the bombs are. I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a two bomb out there somewhere. I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That means we're talking about an explosion the size of three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who said it? Clover, Temuji, and Dio investigated the garden. Dio. There's also a chance someone else said it. Anyone could have come here after they left and before we showed up. Because we keep splitting up like idiots. Anyway, we need to move Alice. Help me out here. Alice was later than I expected. And Phi and I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Well, because all she is is a pair of breasts. That's all she is. She does got a fine ass too, though. But, you know, that's all it is. All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. May Adam has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to the quarks. Why didn't she kill herself, though? She has also been affected with Radical Six. Phi had called everyone back else back after I brought Alice to the infirmary. Seven sets of, of eyes widened as Luton spoke. Oh no. No. What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. It's a special antiviral treatment. Whether or not there's any around here, though. No. No. Oh, Alice. I don't want you to die. Please. Please don't die. I don't want to be alone. Don't die! But, with that, I think we'll call it a video. I hope you guys are enjoying. We're almost done. The end is in sight.
And if you are enjoying, please drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. I count on my fingers every time I say that. I don't know why. One, two, three. But anywho, make sure you have a good night. Good night. Oh, and do all those three things because it makes me feel good. Good night.